Welcome guys, welcome to this under investigation video. Today we're looking at um, incidents number 7 of the current season. We're at Monza round 1 in the uh, GT3 fixed series. Uh, we have a battle, uh, an obvious battle here between uh, this Porsche and the McLaren. Um, in the two Lesmos. Bit of a contact here. Uh, that sends the McLaren on the grass, losing the position. So we're gonna take a look at it. Uh, it's not a big deal in, in, in matters of it's not like the, the previous incident where the cars were flying. Uh, but uh, <clears throat> so obvious side by side. At the uh, turn in, turn in is around uh, a little bit past the 50 board. So braking, braking, braking. Porsche seems to turn in a bit much, a bit faster than uh, the McLaren. Let's take a look at it from the top. So space was given, that's for sure. So here the question is, is there a car width? He does turn in a little bit uh, earlier than his opponent. Would have been very tight. I mean, this um, curb is very high and settles the cars a lot. Um, I've spent there a lot of time with bringing the nose on this part, so there's not much space uh, given. And also, I would say turn in here is a bit early. Uh, so it's nothing. Uh, terrible is just a bit of a racecraft uh, incident, I would say. Not not racecraft, more uh, track awareness, like where where you're at. Um, I, I tend to see, and that's only my opinion, but I tend to see a lot of people, very fast drivers, that are uh, quick for um, time attack or for running solo. But when it comes to battling, you're not using the same lines anymore, so you're kind of losing your uh, normal references. So where you should turn in, where you should break. So I encourage you guys to, to practice this, uh, especially in the PRL sessions uh, that we are opening before every, uh, every race, so that you can at least see where to turn in, where to break, and uh, give everyone a good opportunity to finish the race. So I'll send this to the stewards and uh, hope to see you soon.